Hi, and welcome to Wise Words. Here we'll be looking at that magical time when your child is using their first words and starting to understand lots more of what you're saying to them. I'll take you through some ideas which will support your child from using single words to joining two words together. Tune in. You need to start by tuning into your child's play and talk. Follow your child's lead. Follow your child's lead during play and conversations. Avoid taking over. Let them play with the toys in the way they want to. Try copying their actions or extending them. This will keep them interested for longer so that you can keep the chat flowing. Face to face. Make sure you're always face to face and on the same level as your child. If they move, you move. Your child will know you're interested in them, feel valued and so will want to learn more. They'll be able to tune into your speech and facial expressions more easily. You'll be able to see what things interest them or when their attention is starting to drift. Press pause. Don't dive in and take over the play. Instead, press the pause button and take a moment to watch exactly what your child's doing with their play. They might not be building with the blocks. This is fine. Wait for your child to invite you in. This may be something as subtle as making eye contact. All children are different, some quieter or more sociable than others. So just listen to the message your child is trying to convey and take that as your cue to join in. Oh, thank you. Join in and play. Try to bring out the big kid in yourself and have fun. Just remember to extend, but not take over the play. Speak up. Now you're an equal play partner with your child, you've got their attention, so let's start adding in the language. Talk about the here and now, what's happening around you or what your child's doing. At this stage, your child doesn't fully understand time concepts like past and future. Talking about what's around you means your child can see what you're talking about. This makes your language more visual. And the more visual your language is, the easier it is for your child to pick up. Talk in your first language. So Always talk to your child in the language you feel most comfortable with. It's a well-established fact now that bilingual children go on to achieve well academically and in the workplace. Passing on your home language is a great gift and children need to learn their first words in the language spoken at home. This will make learning English a lot easier once they start school. Simple language. Talk to your child in short, simple sentences. They find long sentences difficult to understand. So instead of, right, let's go upstairs and run your bath now, try bath time. All the way down. Ah. He's stuck. Ready? Down. Down, 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 down. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Always label anything your child points at or picks up. Avoid using this and that too often. So instead of, do you want this one or that one? Try, do you want the ball or the car? Use lots of action words now. You'll find that your child will have learnt lots of object names, words like cup, ball or spoon. But action words like jump, eat, sleep are more difficult to learn. We can see and touch objects, but actions are not so concrete. Repetition is so important. Children need to hear and experience a word lots of times before they can use it. Bubbles. Bubble mixture. Cut down questions. Avoid asking too many questions. It's easy for adults to take over by asking too many questions, which are often pointless like, what colour is it? Or is that a car? Often we want to fill silent gaps, like we would in an adult conversation. Try thinking about why you're asking the question. Usually it's because you want the child to interact with you, but you might be turning the chat into an interrogation. Commenting. 
Turn your questions into comments. Instead of, what colour is the bus? Say, look, a red bus. Emily eating now. Five finger rule. For every question you ask, make your next four turns a comment. Feeding the baby. Ask the question in your head. Ask the question in your head and say the answer out loud. So in your mind you think, how many wheels has the car got? And out loud you say, the car's got four wheels. Waiting. Children need longer to process their responses than adults. This can take up to 12 seconds in young children and babies. Waiting is a really useful and powerful strategy. We naturally want to fill awkward silences and so may not leave enough time for children to process what they've just heard and formulate their responses. Try counting to 10 in your head before you leap in. Ready, steady. 20. Doggy, that's right. Go. Modelling. Your child's speech sounds are still developing, so lots of their words may be hard to understand. You can help by simply repeating back words in the correct way for them. Don't ask them to repeat after you. They'll just say the word in the way they originally said it. Hearing the correct model of words and sounds is really helpful, but they don't need correcting at this stage. Dolly. Dolly? Which dolly? Modelling's also useful to show the next step in talking for your child. Use lots of examples of two word combinations in your talk with them. Yeah. Feeding Dolly. Good girl. <laughs> Repeat and add. Repeat back what your child says, then add a word. This is a great way of adding language in at the right level for your child and giving them a nudge onto the next stage of language development at the same time. Day. Toes. Emily's toes. Taking turns. It's all about balance. Try to match the number of turns with your child. Neither of you should be dominating the interaction. Try also to match the length of your turns. Use phrases the same length as theirs or one word longer. Is that tasty? Yeah. Choices. Whenever you can, try to offer your child choices rather than preempting what you think they need. Meal times are great for this. Hold out two choices for your child and say, Do you want apple or orange? And now wait. Don't say anything, just keep eye contact. Remember, it takes longer for children to process language. So, try counting up to ten in your head. Emily, would you like apple or banana? Apple. Your child will probably make their choice by using a single word at this stage. Show them how to ask with two words by saying, I want... Don't force your child to repeat this phrase, but it's likely they'll repeat it after you. You can then praise them for asking so nicely. I want apple. Routines and repetition. Having routines in the day is a perfect way of repeating language. Try using the same phrases and words at bed, bath time or dressing time. Like tap on, water on or one sock, two socks. Emily, snack time. Bib on. Dummies. Dummies are useful for soothing young babies, but by the time your child is 12 months old, it's a good idea to get rid of the dummy altogether. Don't feel bad or guilty if your child has been using a dummy. I know they can be a real lifesaver at times, but it's easier to stop now rather than later on when it's become a habit. Prolonged dummy use can really affect a child's talking skills, teeth development, and if they're prone to ear infections, they'll be more likely to have recurrent infections if they use the dummy. For more detailed help and advice on giving up the dummy, watch our Dummies film. Try out. Now you're helping to build your child's vocabulary, 
Here are some more ideas for you to try out. Songs for today, words for life. Songs provide the perfect structure for learning new words because the language is repetitive, they're rhythmic and they rhyme. This makes them predictable and easy to remember. Use songs to add more words to your child's vocabulary. Songs can be your lifeline during challenging moments, such as the traditional tantrum in the supermarket. Try singing a favourite song to distract them and change their mood. A song a day keeps the tears away. You can add more, again and finish by pausing at the end of songs or halfway and leaving a gap for your child to show they want more. Do you want more? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one. And of course, it's a fun and enjoyable way for your child to learn about concepts such as numbers, size and colour. Well done! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, good looking. How I wonder what you... Bring songs to life with props and puppets. This is a good way of helping your child make choices with songs. If you see a lion. Try making a song bag for your child. Children will love it if you adapt songs and put their names in or make up funny rhymes. One for little Emily who lives down the lane. You'll soon build up a little store of rhymes and songs personal to you and your child that you can share and enjoy. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Love books, love learning. A lifelong love of books is a springboard for your child to do well with talking, reading and writing. Research by the National Literacy Trust has shown that early book ownership, frequency of library trips and the amount of parental reading in the home is strongly linked to later language reading and writing development. Allow your child to explore the books in their own way. They may be more interested in flipping the pages than listening to the story. Lift the flap and interactive books are great. Your child will love the surprise element and they give you both the opportunity to label pictures. Pippo. Pippo, good girl. Be prepared that your child will probably have a set of favourite books that they'll want you to read over and over again. Although it can get a little boring for you, try to persevere because your child will hear the same language repeated over and over. This is a good thing. It will also provide a familiar structure which your child can predict. So when you leave gaps for them to fill in, they experience the confidence boost of getting something right. Try and read as regularly as possible with your child. Not just at bedtimes, but other times during the day too. Maybe while dinner's cooking or waiting in the doctor's surgery. A study by the British Psychological Society showed that the amount of time children under two are read to is a really strong predictor of vocabulary knowledge at 12 and 15 months. Try to have books to hand all around the house. Having a child-friendly bookcase in the living room right next to the sofa really helps make book reading part of everyday activities. Waterproof books are a really nice way of making book sharing part of bath time. Making the most of TV. Have a think about how you can turn watching TV into a language learning experience. The National Literacy Trust recently reported that watching kids' TV only has educational benefits for the two to five-year-olds. So far, there's no evidence to suggest any benefits for the under twos. In fact, children who watch lots of TV do less well on tests of talking abilities than those who watch less. Under twos have been shown to attend more to programmes that have limited visual and auditory stimulus, like having one adult speaker rather than lots of different voices and people to attend to at once. Try to limit the amount of time your child watches TV and make sure they only watch programmes aimed at their age group. Sit down and watch with them and talk about what's happening, like you would if you were sharing a book. Once the programme's finished, the fun bit starts. Switch off the TV and do something together related to what you've just seen. How about letting your child help with some baking after watching a kiddies cooking programme or taking a trip to the local farm if there were animals on the programme? Listening activity. Encourage listening skills by using toy animals dotted around the room and see if your child can match the sound you make with the toy animal. Which animal says meow? 
Praise good listening behaviours. Well done, good listening, Puppet. Understanding language activity. Play games to help your child understand single words. Lay three objects out and ask for one. You could play a posting game with a shoebox and pictures. Yeah. Banana to teddy. Or a feeding game with a teddy and food items. Banana. Praise good listening and try not to Girl, give away any clues well like pointing done. or looking at objects you ask for. Once an item or picture has gone, get another one out so there's always three to choose from. Talking activity. Play naming games with a feely bag. Put a number of objects into a bag and encourage your child to name the objects as you take turns to pull things out. Repeat back what they say and add a word. Praise their good talking. Shoe, well done. Blue shoe. Now you've seen ways to help your child join words together and understand language. To find out how to help your child move to the next stage, which is joining words together to make short sentences, try watching our Champion Chat film.